Wisconsin hiking trails are probably the best in the entire world, especially in the winter time when the snow has just fallen. But many hikers get lost and it's a very dangerous area to go hiking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to southeastern Wisconsin, near Delavan. I'm going to parachute my way down from 30,000 feet. A very dangerous maneuver to parachute down in the snow. Okay, I was just parachuted down from 30,000 feet to uh, an indisclosed area in southeastern Wisconsin. I have no idea where I am, and uh, it's my goal to find civilization and show everyone how to do this. I'm uh, pretending to be a hiker that's been lost in the southeastern Wisconsin woods and uh, I have no idea where I am. In this kind of weather, the most important thing to do is find shelter and food. Without those, you can't live, so you gotta find them. First on my agenda is to find some shelter. Okay, so I built this igloo. It goes all the way inside. Actually, I didn't build it, my camera crew did. Way too lazy to do something this great. And uh, I'm actually going to use it and uh, hopefully spend a little bit of time in here. Pretty sure that this um, is a corn dog on a stick, and uh, it's pretty it's pretty edible. So if you find these corn dogs, corn dogs are really hard to find in the wilderness, but they're great to eat. <coughs> oh. Oh. that definitely was not a corn dog. Oh. Uh, and while I'm sitting down for the second, I'll show you exactly what I packed in my bag. I brought along a fishing rod. I love fishing. And uh, I brought along a blanket. It's going to be cold, obviously. Um, brought along my uh, standard issue axe gun. It's flint loading. Put the flint there. Shoot. And I can hack down some trees. Um, I also brought some other stuff in my pack. I brought, brought a knife. Kitchen knife. I uh, brought my teddy bear. Can't do without my teddy bear. I love my teddy bear. And I brought my Game Boy. With, uh, with Tetris. Um, all necessities when you're going out in the wilderness. Equally as important as food and shelter is finding water. Water usually leads to civilization and to food, like fish. And you know I love fishing because I brought my fishing rod along. Okay. Seem to stumble across a small babbling brook. If you find these things, um, don't throw your Game Boy in it, or your Game Boy's ruined and you can't play it anymore. Um, definitely get something to drink. Ah, it's really cold. Don't put your hands in the water because it's really cold. Um, if I were you, I'd probably just try to use it for bath water. And uh, it's a nice little area to swim in. Okay, so that stream I just found 
I'm gonna make some bait so I can use my fishing rod. And uh, what I'm gonna do to use that, I'm gonna use my kitchen knife I brought along and Gertrude, my teddy bear. And uh, what you do is you take your knife, and you stab it as hard as you can, tear up the teddy, teddy bear, and it should turn into some worms or something that you can use. <laughs> it didn't work. I just mutilated Gertrude. I don't have any friends anymore. Ugh. Wilderness gets tired and boring. Not much to do. So, I'm just gonna lay some downtime. Play some Game Boy. I've been walking for minutes and I still haven't found any civilization. It's depressing and dark and without my Game Boy, I probably wouldn't be surviving right now. My attention span is short and I need to find somewhere to go. I need to find a trail or some sort of hint to take me back to civilization. Yeah, uh, good word of thumb is if you find bear tracks, uh, it's a common misconception to think that bears are dangerous, but uh, if you find bear tracks, a hundred thousand percent of the time, bear tracks lead to civilization. So if you ever find bear tracks, like the ones I just found, you're going to want to follow them. Follow them straight to wherever they go, because it will always lead you to civilization. Okay. So I followed the bear tracks, and they led straight to a bear den. And there was a bear in there. That was a stupid idea, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I gotta find civilization soon. Uh. Been gone, I've been lost about two and a half minutes now. And it's already starting to look bleak then I'll never find civilization again. But I'm going to keep looking. So, I've been walking for about four and a half minutes now since I was dropped down. Still can't find, there it is. Houses, can you see that? See those houses in the distance? That's my ticket home. It's a beautiful sight. I hope you learned something from this. Not dangerous. The wilderness can be.